I'm back. This time I'm showing you one of my other favorite tribes, Hoodrick. So I actually drew on the screen at the beginning of this game trying to figure out where my opponents could be. And I'll tell you right now, um, that was not accurate at all. It, it was just a wild guess. But yes, Hoodrick is one of my favorites because it starts with archery. And archery is a level 2 tech, so it's a little more expensive, but it's, um, it's extremely useful to have. So you can enter combat without injuring any of your own units. Whereas, um, you know, a warrior, if it strikes someone, it in turn is going to get hit back and lose about half of its life. So this is pretty standard. Well, actually, no, I take that back. There's pretty much two standard openings for Hoodrick. One is the sawmill and the other one, well, if I can't go sawmill, I'll normally go for uh, riders. But as you saw there, I had to cut four trees around my capital just to afford getting mathematics. Back that up again. Yeah, one, two. Three, four. Just wasted all of those animals. Wasted all those, I guess they're ox or... I don't know what those are. Bison? Buffalo? I don't know. So there I have my plans for getting a giant all mapped out. And I'll do that sometimes with this draw on tool just so I know um, I don't cut a tree that I need. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to pop a giant. Not this turn. And here I am trying to figure out when I can afford to pop that giant, which is going to be this turn, undoubtedly. So we saw Vinger pop in for a second there over on the right, but he just popped right back out. I don't really know. Normally, um, if I had Vinger, I would probably try to rush my opponent with a uh, swordman. But, I don't know, maybe he uh, had an explorer. Maybe he saw we were getting that giant. So if I couldn't get the sawmill opening, because I didn't have four trees around my capital, I mean, I would have been at the point I am now, pretty much, where I have uh, research writing and I have writers and archers. Because um, those two together, they're a pretty lethal combination. Attack enemies, move in and capture villages, pretty much without being, without any of my own units getting injured. Luxador is on the scene now. He's normally a fairly um, somewhat of a scary tribe to play against, but I can tell you in this game, with my opening I got here, I, I would, really wasn't worried at all, even though he's got his own... Well, that's not his giant. That's uh, Fingers' giant. Oh, well, he got that from the Ruin. Okay. So it looks like I'm just going to totally ignore the giant for now. I mean, he's big and he's slow. He's It's very unlikely he's going to be able to do any damage. 
he'll get shot and killed before he gets anywhere. Okay, so his giant's trying to move back and save his city. Which is not going to work. Now I've still left it untouched. I'm kind of just making sure my units are in the right place so I can hit them all at once and kill them in one turn. And this here is pretty much how you kill a giant. That was fairly easy. Because I mean, let's say I started, I mean, I had a, a catapult in my capital that could have hit him like three turns in a row, but then that capital couldn't have made other units I needed. So I, also, I also created riders and um, archers in that time period from that capital. So instead of hitting the, uh, the giant with my catapult, I, I moved my catapult out of the village just to create other units. And it all really just came down to timing. And it's about it's about to end here. This game, I'll tell you, only goes to turn um, turn fifteen. Actually, it, it only goes really to turn 14. Yeah, because pretty much this turn is when everyone resigns. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this.